Well, this morning, more than 100,000 students in Charlotte Mecklenburg schools are getting ready for the first day of class, but it's not without its challenges. The district is short hundreds of teachers, bus drivers, and cafeteria workers with class set to begin just hours from now. Wake Up Charlotte's Shamaria Morrison joins us now. And Shay, this is just one of the challenges Superintendent Crystal Hill is tackling during her first full year as district leader. Yeah, that's right, and it's actually a pretty big challenge. Uh, we know what that operational staff means to make sure CMS is running good. If you think about your bus drivers, cafeteria workers, custodians, those are all people who they need in place to make sure that the first day of school goes without a hitch. Uh, what they do tell me is that these shortages that they're suffering right now, it won't greatly disrupt the first day of school. Students should be okay, but we know what it means when you don't have enough bus drivers in certain areas. We saw this happen in a lot of places all over the country. There are some school districts that are paying uh, to see if parents can take their children to school. Um, we also saw in other areas like Kentucky, for example, students who didn't have bus drivers and students who didn't get home till 10 p.m. on the first day of school, uh, they also had to stop school for a little bit. But CMS says this is not the case for them. They've actually had to make some of those situations that are unpopular for some in the community. For example, express bus stops. That's where some of their magnet school programs, well, they'll actually be reducing the bus drivers and bus uh, routes that are going to that. Uh, take a listen from the COO of the district on why this was a smart choice to make. I would remind people that if we had not shifted to, um, you know, made some shifts, and especially with the express stop service, instead of being 30 drivers uh, short, we'd be more like 180 to 200 drivers short right now. And they're also short cafeteria workers a lot more than they were last year, 156 shortages. And this is not equal across all the schools, but CMS says they are trying to recruit people. They have bonuses for some of these positions. Uh, most of those positions do start at about $15 an hour, and they said they're going to continue to recruit through the entire school year. For Wake Up Charlotte, I'm Shamaria Morrison.